Hey, Sneaky Linux back. Another one in the series of Linux screen recorders. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. we're on number four now, and it's quite a few to go. So today, we're having, as somebody said earlier in one of the comments, that I'd already done, Voco Screen. Okay, Voco Screen's been around quite a while now, and when it first came out, it was absolutely brilliant. Yes, it was. But I will tell you more about that later. Now, I'm using the older version here. This is 2.4.0. There is a newer version. Yes, there is a newer one. Should we go and have a look? Go here. Develop a homepage. Let me see what happens. A little bit of drinkage while we're doing that. Oh, screen's gone funny. Okay. We have 2.5.0 that came out on July the 1st. Okay. So that's the one I'll go and get a bit later and give that a try. Okay. Okay. Let's go through it with you. <clears throat> so on your screen, you can do a full screen, window, area, size of your screen, magnification, there's a key for it, and a countdown if you really wanted to. But that's quite a new addition, really. It wasn't even the original one. Okay. And audio, you can record both your microphone and the built-in audio of your computer, so that's quite good. Although, the last time I tried it, the built-in audio wasn't very good at recording, at both at the same time, okay? Pulse and Elsa, by the way. For your video, <clears throat> I've got it set 60 frames per second. The codec I'm using is LibX264, and audio codec is LibLame3, okay? And you can have MKV container on AVI. Don't bother with the AVI, okay? Just don't even go there. It's not worth it. Next one along, your video path, where it's going to keep it, which is going to be in my videos. The default player is going to be VLC, and the recorder is WFmpeg, which is very good. And if you've got a webcam, it will also record that for you. Okay, so that was easy, wasn't it? Basic controls, so you've got start, stop, pause, play, send to wherever. Okay, and down the bottom here, it tells you you're using Pulse, MKV, 264, and how many frames you're going to do a second. Okay, and that's all you do. Should we give it a go? Of course, so I'm going to start that now, and off we go. And we're actually now recording, and as you can see down here, I'm getting 61 frames a second. Lovely. No drop frames. It's all going hunky of the dory. Lovely. When you want to stop that, you just click stop, or you can go up here and stop it from up there. There's not a problem, okay? So we're now going to stop completely. Ta da! And that's all, you, that's all you do. Another really, it's, it's not as simple as Kazam, but it's still quite simple. So if I go to my videos, if I go home, we go to videos, and around here somewhere, wherever I put it, and here it is, Voco Screen. Okay, and let's see how it comes out. Double click it. Should play it perfectly. Hear that widescreen for you? It's not too bad, is it? I've seen better, I must admit, I've seen better. But then again, I do use Simple Screen Recorder, and it is slightly better. Older machine, though. Not a problem, make it smaller for you. So yeah, that was Voco Screen. Simple as chips. Nice. Another one coming soon. Sneaky Linux out. I see you later. Bye bye.